Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the General of Ourself, the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And his commentary intends to bring insights to God's word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Tuesday, the 16th day of April 2024, and our topic for today says, Power makes noise. Let us pray. King of glory, the ruler of the whole universe, the one who is greater than the greatest, the mightier than the mightiest, the one with all power. We worship and we bless your name. Thank you, Lord, for the wonderful and marvelous things you do in our lives. Thank you for your countless blessings with which you have blessed us. We say receive our thanks in Jesus' name. As we come to receive your word from you today again, we ask that, Father, you would minister to us. We submit our hearts. We ask that they would be teachable. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more says power makes noise and our memory verse for today is from the book of Joshua chapter 6 verse 5. Joshua chapter 6 verse 5 reads, And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Joshua chapter 6 verse 5 Our text for today is from the same book of Joshua chapter 6. Now we will be reading from verse 15 to verse 21. Joshua chapter 6 from verse 15 to 21 reads, And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven times. Only on that day they compassed the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time, when the priests blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city. And the city shall be accursed, even it, and all that are therein, to the Lord. Only Rehab the harlot shall live, she and all that are with her in the house, because she heed the messengers that we sent. And ye, in all wise, keep yourselves from the accursed thing, lest ye make yourselves accursed when ye take of the accursed thing, and make the camp of Israel a curse, and trouble it. But all the silver, and gold, and vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpets. And it came to pass, when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. And they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young and old, and ox, and sheep, and ass, with the edge of the sword. Joshua chapter 6, reading from verse 15 down to verse 21. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Our topic for today once more says, Power makes noise. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father in the Lord says to us that many Christians don't pray aloud anymore. And this is one of the reasons we are seeing fewer demonstrations of power amongst us. During the first service I attended at RCCG, we were asked to shout hallelujah and the fellow beside me shouted so loudly that I almost ran out of the church. Where there is power, there must be noise. The Concord, a plane that could take you from London to New York in about three hours, was grounded partly because people said it was noisy. With its powerful engine, it was bound to be noisy. These days, many Christians have to be cajoled to shout hallelujah. I remember many years ago 
when I was asked to preach during a Christmas carol at Asso Rock, and all the high and mighty were there. When I asked them to shout hallelujah, they shouted like sophisticated ladies and gentlemen, until I said the next fellow to shout hallelujah is the only one who will see the new year. This time around, they really shouted. Real Christians do not have to be threatened to praise their father. Many years ago, I was walking and praying within Redemption City in the middle of the night, hungry and thirsty for the power of God. I had been crying, Lord, I told you from the beginning that I don't want to be ordinary. I was serving you as much as I could when I was still lecturing at the university, making some money to do your work. But you pulled me out. Now you have made me a general overseer and I lack the power to do the work that must be done. Father, either empower me or take me home. As I prayed, the ground under my feet shook violently. There was an earthquake that was felt from as far as Jebode. It was in the newspapers. An earthquake is not quiet. Noise is necessary for power. Stop trying not to be noisy. Don't hinder the move of God with your so-called sophistication. I am at a point in my life where I need other people to carry more fire than me so that when I am leaving, I will know that I am leaving commandos behind that will take the work of God farther than I did. Stop forming, as the youths will say, when you are in the presence of God. Be free to make a loud noise that will shut the devil out and let the power of God flow. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more says, Power makes noise. You will often hear it being said that a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Yesterday, we studied the topic, Stop Taking Nonsense, and we learned that when we resist the devil, he flees. One of the ways to resist the devil is to never be quiet. Make that noise in the place of prayer. Make that noise in the place of praise, worship, and thanksgiving unto God that will chase the enemy back to where he came from and bring all walls that stand tall like the walls of Jericho crumbling down flat to the ground. To see the power of God move, we must not back down or get tired. The children of Israel continued going round the walls of Jericho for seven days, and they eventually received their victory. In Luke chapter 18, reading from verse 1 to verse 7, we see the parable of the unjust judge. It reads, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint, saying, There was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came to him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while. But afterward he said within himself, Do I fear not God, nor regard man? Yet, because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Hallelujah! For better understanding, I would like to read verse 7 in the New Living Translation. I like how it puts it. It reads, even he rendered a just decision in the end. So don't you think God will surely give justice to his chosen people who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? Hallelujah! We must learn to hold on to God until our change comes. We also learn from today's study that real Christians do not have to be threatened or cajoled to praise their father. It is therefore important to have the understanding that 
the shouting side is always the winning side. Hallelujah. Today's study reveals to us the importance and the power of genuine and sincere heartfelt prayer unto God. Our Father in the Lord tells us of how hungry and thirsty for the power of God he was that he prayed until the ground under his foot shook. Today, we are witnesses to what God is doing through his life to the nations of the earth. Scripture tells us about the power and the potency of the prayer of a righteous man. It tells us in James chapter 5 verse 16 that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. I would also like to read again from the New Living Translation. It tells us that the earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. Hallelujah! Never stop raising your voice unto God in the place of prayer. The enemy is not intimidated by our gentle manly prayers. In fact, he wants a man to continue acting and adjusting to the situation of things around him like all is well until that man finds himself inside the well. Refuse to pamper the enemy today. I would like us at this point to bow our heads today and ask the Lord. We would be asking him for fresh prayer power. Can we ask the Lord today, say, Father, please endure me with the grace to pray, the grace to hold on to you, the grace to raise my voice, to tarry before you, O Lord, grant unto me in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today that we will not be doing big manism before him, that when we appear before him, we will not come before him to speak to him like we are speaking to a colleague. Ask the Lord today for the grace to keep keeping on the grace to keep holding on despite the many discouragements or challenges we may face on the way. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please grant me the grace never to be tired in the place of prayer, in the place of praising and worshipping and offering my thanksgiving unto you. I want us to be very intentional today about our prayers and ask the Lord, say, Father, for that situation that has been proven very stubborn, that situation that seems to be resisting all kinds of prayers. Say, Lord, today, in the name of Jesus, intervene. Bring that request before the Lord today. Do not be quiet about it. We have learned that we are not to pamper the enemy. Make a request, make a demand of the Lord today and say, Father, let there be a turnaround, let there be a change of story, let there be a testimony concerning this and this and this situation in the name of Jesus. Speak into your life what you want to see come to pass. Declare what you want to see manifest. Tell the Lord that thing that seems impossible to man, which is not impossible with Him. Lord, we are grateful because you answer our prayers whenever we call. Continue to bless the name of the Lord. Give Him thanks for answers to prayers and worship His holy name. Father, we bless your name. Receive our thanks. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we worship and we give you thanks, our faithful and dependable God. We are asking today that as we raise our prayers and we make noise before you, every wall representing the walls of Jericho standing before us crumble in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the sweet and swift victory we have received. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have an action point in today's study that tells us, Shout a very loud hallelujah. Now, we will be shouting a very symbolic shout of victory. At the count of three, we will shout three powerful hallelujahs. One, two, three. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 And we declare in the name of Jesus that anything and everything representing walls of Jericho in our lives crumble right now at our feet in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of 1 Kings chapter 21 down to chapter 22. We also want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234 eight zero nine eight six one one two two six do well also to like share comment and subscribe to our various platforms available our hymn for today is the hymn six of our open heavens devotional 
we will be singing, I am so glad that our Father in heaven have a remarkably blessed and power-filled day ahead. See you tomorrow again. I believe today's devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.